guys. So in today's video, I'm just going to quickly go over why, in my opinion, I think it's pretty important to vote even in primary elections and things of that sort. I think I think it's safe to say a majority of people really only pay attention to the main actual election that takes place in November every four years. And all the other elections kind of go to the wayside. But these smaller elections, including primary elections, I feel are super, super important just to stay informed on topics and be present in what's going on with politics. They also, if you're supporting one side or another, are very important in terms of showing support for a certain candidate or even a certain party. For example, if you are a Democrat right now, theoretically the best thing that the best thing to do statistically would be to support uh, Joe Biden by going out and voting for Joe Biden just if for nothing else for the sake of inflating his numbers in the media just to help influence people that might be on the fence or don't want to vote for him because they think he's going to lose, things like that. If that's your perspective on things, that's one reason you should be going out to vote in a primary. And even if maybe you prefer a different candidate, for example, if you're a Bernie supporter, recognizing that Bernie dropped out of the election, it would make more sense to vote for someone like Joe Biden in a primary election just to help inflate the party's strength and inflate the numbers that are presented in the media um, to support your ultimate cause, which is going to eventually be to vote in Joe Biden over Donald Trump for president, if that's your prerogative. Um, I try and stay relatively unbiased on this channel. I'm sure it's obvious what my influence is, but in any case, that's kind of my perspective on the importance of primary elections. So aside from all the little... Um, trying to find my wording. Sorry from all the little aspects like that where it's messing with numbers and things like that and staying present. You also have the topic of in the smaller elections, for example, for your congressman and your senators, things of that nature. There's a lot of times where there's two candidates running within the same party and you have a preference between those candidates. And in the smaller elections, there is a very good chance that you could influence things enough that that secondary candidate has a shot against whoever the main candidate is. For example, I live in New Jersey. Um, Cory Booker is on the ballot, but he's running against someone named Lawrence Ham. And some people may prefer the things that Lawrence Ham supports. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with the platform and I'm not talking about preferences in that sense. But if you were someone that preferred him, there is a possibility that he could beat out Cory Booker. I don't know the actual stats or data or anything like that. But it's one of those things where it's more likely that the secondary candidate running for a Democratic seat in a congressional election or a House of Representatives election like that has a chance of winning as it does that secondary um, party candidate getting the nomination from the party that they're going for and eventually going on to defeat whoever the opponent is in the main election. So just, I guess, some things to consider with voting. And the most important part of this video, obviously, is wherever you are voting. If you haven't voted in primaries already, go check when your primary voting dates are. For example, in New Jersey, it's January, it's uh, July 7th. And they're all coming up very soon. So definitely be aware of when your voting dates are. And then gearing up for the actual election, just stay very aware of what's going on in the news and what's going on in politics specifically to see where people fall on different arguments, see where you want this country to head, what direction you think we should be going as a nation by paying attention to what's going on in the news and in politics specifically right now. So with that, wrapping the video up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.